Hello everybody, welcome to chip episode 5 of Chips and a Chair Poker Chip Vlog. I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Uh, as you can see from the box in front of me and probably from the title of this video, today we are going to be doing a product unboxing. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with things and see what's inside. Sweet. Okay, so as you can see, and I've probably gathered by now, this is my brand new poker chip carry case. Before this case arrived, I'd been using uh, kind of similar cases, two really small ones, uh, both of which held 200 chips each, so 400 over the two, uh, and I'd been stacking them, uh, the other chips that I had in drawers, and I guess I just kind of felt like it was time for an upgrade, something big that I could store all of my chips in. Um, yeah, and the good thing about the other cases that I had, they were pick and pluck foam, uh, which I'll get onto uh, and show you later. Um, it's essentially a foam within the case that you can pick and sort of cut the shape of the foam out to whatever you want to carry in it, I guess. Um, so this case comes from a company called Newprol. Hadn't really heard of them before uh, researching what sort of case I wanted to get. Um, they sell in Europe and the USA. They're essentially an airsoft company. Uh, they create sort of cases like this, hard and soft cases for airball um, and paintball guns. So yeah, I'm really excited to have a look inside and uh, yeah, take you guys through it. Okay, so one of the first things I actually noticed uh, about this case is the bottom of it. I knew that it was a wheeled, uh, a wheeled hard case with a sort of um, a pull along lever. Didn't really buy it for that because that wasn't the main thing. But I think looking at the lever and how easy it is to use and how sturdy it is, I actually think this is going to come in really handy um, for when I'm transporting. My chips which isn't too often but yeah I would say that if you travel a lot with your chips uh, from home game to home game then this is a really neat feature um, that's yeah definitely going to benefit what you need. Considering this is their medium sized case this thing is an absolute beast and I can only imagine how big the large and extra large ones are. I'll get onto the dimensions, the internal and external dimensions uh, in a bit. Anyway, like I was saying, something else that struck me about this is the sort of quality of the build and the sturdiness um, of the handles and the middle part. So as you can see, you've got the secondary handle here and then running through the middle, you've just got this really sturdy, well-built handle that looks like it's gonna be able to carry a lot of weight. It's super solid. Um, and then to either side of that handle, you've got two open and close latches. And then I think something that I really like about this product, um, the added security feature of the fact that it's got two holes here for padlocks, uh, one either side. So let's face it, uh, clay poker chips and high-end poker chips are not cheap. Um, so yeah, I think having that added sort of bonus of, of an extra layer of security is is really promising and makes this another good reason for you know to potentially um, consider this case if you're in the market. So yeah, I'm just really impressed by the looks and the build quality. This thing is really cool. Um, yeah, really impressed so far. Okay, so as you can see, apparently this thing is an absolute beast inside too. What have we got here? Well, we've got two different types of foam for the main compartment. We've got the pick and pluck, or P and P as it's abbreviated. I'll get onto that in a bit. And then up top here, you've got what they call wave foam. 
Uh, they actually do cases uh, that have wave foam in the main compartment too. It's not really what you want for poker chips, uh, poker chip racks, cards, accessories, because ideally what you want is this foam that you can shape to your exact needs essentially. Anyway, what this top layer does is, well, it basically just adds an extra layer of protection to your chips or whatever you're storing when you close it. So you can see you've got this foam material just pressing down uh, on your products and just keeping everything safe, snug and secure from the top down as well. Um, let's move on to the main compartment. So, okay. So we've got, well, the top layer of pick and pluck foam. What I'll do here, just to illustrate, you see you've got these sort of mini squares, I guess, within the foam that you essentially just pick out. Um, it's a pretty tedious job, to be fair, um, but it gives you that control on exactly uh, the sort of size that you want for whatever you're storing in there. Okay, oh, we've got another bit of middle foam here. Looks to be the same thickness as the first bit. Oh no, actually just a bit thicker, this middle one. Um, as you can see, it's just shaped here uh, in line with the indents on the case. And then you've got this bottom layer of foam. Um, so in total, three layers of foam. And as you can see, this thing is just like, is super deep. It's huge. I'm gonna hazard a guess. You could probably stack three, three racks high maybe, and maybe eight racks from left to right. Um, I don't have that many chips yet, but what we're gonna do now is, well, I've got the arduous task of picking and plucking all the foam based on the chips that I have. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see uh, behind the case, a fair bit of foam was harmed during the making of this video. Apologies, but um, yeah, we got there in the end. I would say once I shaped everything out to get the optimum fit and then uh, plucked all of the foam, probably took me a good 45 minutes. Um, but as you can see from the results, time well spent and definitely worth it because, boom. Um, I will put the specs, dimensions and weights on screen now. Um, whilst I count, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 700 chips in here as it stands with uh, room for one, two more racks. So that's 900 chips on the top layer, double that. For the layer underneath, you are looking at 1,800 chips. Uh, I've also got room for, well, two setups here of cards. So that's four decks in total. Um, and I'll slot a dealer button uh, in there too. I'm super, super happy with this case. Um, part of me thinks it, it's a bit excessive and maybe maybe a bit too big for what i actually need but i just like the fact that it's given me that option to um expand you know my chip collection pretty you know to a pretty large number just shy of 2000 which i don't really think i'll ever do but you never know um yeah so it's, you know, I've given it a bit of a test with carrying it around. Uh, it's definitely heavy for sure, as you would expect with uh, this amount of chips in. So yeah, from that point of view, I actually think that the wheelie sort of feature uh, is gonna come in really handy. Um, 
yeah, let's lock this up one last time. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go through different aspects of this case and, uh, and give it a rating.